what you saw there uh, happened very recently. It was protesters against a uh, vaccine mandate in New York City. And uh, they flipped over a COVID testing site and the cops kind of cared, I guess. They went, whoa, 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 and then let them leave after potentially destroying property. That's cool. But anyway, um, what was basically going on was um, New York City's vaccine mandate for school teachers and staff took effect just yesterday. Um, Mayor Bill de Blasio said 95% of the public school staffers had already received at least one dose of a vaccine. So it seems like the vast majority have already complied with this, but those people were enraged. And I will note, they were not flipping over a tent for mandatory vaccinations or even optional vaccinations. That was just for testing of COVID, but even that was enough to drive them into a tent flipping rage. It like nearly cut a dad's face open. I don't know if anyone um, in honor of IATSE points, points. That's what you shout when something very like when someone's walking yeah. through a, you know, with, with a pointy little thing. There is a point at which this evil and the tent really was the, the transgressor here right there gets on the guy's face. That is very dangerous. It is also petulant and just a bit of guidance since I seem to be the person guiding all protesters on what to do. Before you decide to vandalize something, make sure that it would look cool to vandalize. Uh -huh. This is obviously satire, but make sure it would look <laughs> cool to, to vandalize. Because there's something awkward about the daddy long legs, just like what's happening to me. <laughs> you can tell the tents like I'm gonna be fine after this, but this is weird. And they don't have, you know, there's a there's a possibility that you'll get carried away and flipped over if there's a gust. Um, but the result of this is them looking thoroughly stupid, and that's that. Yeah, uh, it's too it's too big and floppy. It just it it would be like if if you hated Biden and you came across a man sized weeble wobble of Biden, so you decided. I'm gonna show this thing, I'm gonna push it from the top. That's just, that's not gonna look cool. Um, so you're right there. But I will say, like, most people have already complied with this. Even Fox News has sort of moved against, like, moved away from the, like, crazy opposition to the vaccine mandates. Not that they support them, but just so many people are complying with them that it clearly isn't the unifying force that they thought it would. But that doesn't mean that there aren't random people there who are getting in people's faces, potentially spreading COVID and destroying property and not just for vaccination. They are against even just the testing at this point. These people are done, but the good news is that in New York City, most people seem to be more reasonable and are complying. My only lingering concern is the, the police officers who didn't have a problem with it, who were filmed. I couldn't find the video again, but I saw it yesterday of them like sort of like cheerfully calling out to the protesters. From the steps, I believe, of City Hall, and uh, and why not? While many of these departments are, you know, complying with the mandates, the police officers, basically everywhere in the country, are the least likely to do so. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube.com/slash/The Damage Report, and you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.